A LEAP cone biopsy, or a LEAP, stands for Loop Electrical Excision Procedure, which nobody ever says. They just say LEAP. Uh, and a LEAP is a treatment for cervical dysplasia. So what happens is, if you've had a colposcopy, and the colposcopy shows that you have a significant dysplasia, the best treatment for that is generally something called a LEAP. So I kind of want to talk to you about what to expect with a LEAP. The good news about a LEAP is that it's actually less painful than the colposcopy. So you have something to compare it to because you just had a colposcopy. And you'll know that the colposcopy wasn't as bad as you thought it was going to be. And so the LEAP is really even less. So it's not a big painful procedure. With a LEAP, we'll put you in stirrups like with a pap smear. Um, then we'll use a speculum and put the speculum in the vagina. The speculums we use for LEAP uh, connect up to a suction device um, and that helps um, suck um, some smoke out because we are going to be using something called cautery. There'll be a lot of noise during the leap. You know, it sounds like a vacuum cleaner, so that's what you're going to be hearing. Don't let that worry you. So what we do with the leap is we do use numbing medicine in the cervix. Now this sounds pretty scary, um, but basically it's lidocaine, the same kind of thing that the dentist uses to numb your mouth, but it doesn't hurt like the dentist does. Uh, it is deliberate, it is an injection, but believe it or not, it really doesn't hurt much to have the cervix injected. Sometimes it's a little bit crampy, but a lot of women don't feel it at all. And the cervix is injected with lidocaine to make it all numb. Now that lidocaine has a medicine called epinephrine in it, which helps decrease bleeding. But that epinephrine can make women's heart beat fast. So with a leap, it's not uncommon to have a couple of minutes where the heartbeat is really racing, and your heart will go really fast. Sometimes people feel sort of a hot flush, or, you know, a strange feeling from the medicine. That lasts only a couple minutes, so don't panic if you feel that that's normal. And honestly, most women say that's the worst part of the whole procedure. So in my opinion, if the worst part of the procedure is your heart's beating really fast, then it can't be that bad of a procedure. So once we have the cervix all numb, then we actually perform the leap. And that's done with um, this little instrument. This is a, uh, it's like a little pencil. This actually comes on and off. This is disposable. Uh, and on the end, this is um, a little wire loop. And so electricity comes through and goes through the wire loop and heats the wire up, and then it's able to slice through tissue, sort of like a cheese slicer, really. Um, and it'll collect a little nickel-sized piece of your cervix that has all the abnormal cells in. And so the idea is to cut the abnormal cells out uh, with the LEAP device. Uh, this is an instrument here that controls the LEAP. There's different settings on it, depending on what we're trying to accomplish. This is a little grounding pad that we would put on your legs because it does uh, use uh, uh, electricity and so you need to complete the circuit. And so this uh, co helps ground you uh, so that the machine works. Now if somehow this comes undone or someone forgets to use a grounding pad, you're not going to get electrocuted, it just won't work. Uh, and so this completes the circuits and allows the um, LEAP machine to actually work. And so this um, it's put through the vagina. If this is the cervix, it's just passed through the cervix like that, and that cuts a small piece of tissue out, again, about the size of a nickel. Then this Bozeman type forcep is used, and this is pushed, put into the vagina, down to the cervix, and the piece of tissue is grasped and brought out, and that's sent to pathology for diagnosis. Um, then um, cautery is used to keep the area from bleeding, and that's the end of the procedure. And so it really, has, really does not hurt. Um, after the procedure, though, it's sort of obnoxious because you can expect to have some bleeding or sometimes even a nasty sort of watery discharge, and that can last a couple of weeks. And we really recommend pelvic rest, nothing in the vagina, no sex, tampons, douching, nothing in the vagina for two weeks uh, because it can disturb that healing bed and make it bleed or even put you at risk for infection. I always bring my patients back in two weeks. I like to look and see that the cervix is healing well and also go over the pathology results um, of the tissue sample to make sure there's no surprises. Kind of big picture way to think about what we're doing. If you had an apple and that apple had a little bad spot in it but you still wanted to eat the apple, what would you do? Take a little paring knife, carve that little bad spot out, right? And then you'd have an apple that you could eat. That's basically what we're doing with the cervix. Is that the cervix has a little, bit, a little teeny bad area in it we're taking the leap and we're using that to cut that little bad area out so that the rest of the cervix is normal. That should cure you because it removes all the abnormal cells um, that were there and leaves nothing but normal cervix behind. So that's what a leap is. Again, less painful than a colposcopy. 
It's not the kind of thing that you need to worry about that you're going to be in pain all day. You don't need to ride home from somebody else. Um, you'll be able to do all your normal things afterwards. The only big thing is the discharge and bleeding afterwards uh, and the fact that you're not going to be able to use tampons. Medtwice.com